Hi Aries, let's do a collective reading for you today. So today is the 3rd of November, 2024. What does Aries need to know today? Whenever you watch this reading, Aries, is when you're supposed to be receiving the messages. This is a timeless reading. You've got the Four of Cups. Could have been giving to something where there was someone missing an opportunity, but we will grab out clarifiers for these Aries. You've got the Nine of Coins, so the single energy there, but... Rewards will be coming in for your hard work. Temperance. The Seven of Coins. The Six of Coins. The Four of Wands. The Sun. The Six of Wands. A lot of happiness here in the near future. And the Fool. On the back of the deck, you've got the Tower and the Six of Swords. Interesting. What is the Four of Cups for Aries? What does Aries need to know about this Four of Cups? The judgment card and so making a decision so as i said i feel like there's an opportunity here i feel like you were giving to something that i feel like there's a sadness with it though giving to something that i feel's left you in your head but there's something about waking to a call with the judgment card. To me, there's this ending. There's like an ending. Someone that there's a lot of wounded warrior energy. Feeling exhausted. What's the nine of coins? The six of swords and the page of swords. So, as I said, you could be moving into a new journey. You're moving into calm. You're leaving the turbulence. There's a little bit of sadness there as you move on. But there's something new that you're starting. And as I said, you're moving into the single energy, but you will be receiving some type of rewards because I feel like you are focused on yourself. So, whether this is mentally or focused on something in your career... There will be a reward coming for you, Aries. What is temperance? So you have death. So there's something about healing. And then you've got the Queen of Cups. So you could be someone that's focusing on yourself, listening to your intuition, giving to your family, focusing on your home. But there's this healing energy with temperance and a rebirth. There could also be children you could have children you could be focusing on children giving to that situation something that is yours so what's the seven of coins the hanged one so the seven of coins in contemplation someone feeling stuck with the hanged one and the nine of pentacles so you could be focused on something in the material world right now, Aries, something that time has gone by. You're wondering if this is what you should be focused on because you feel stuck. You feel stuck in the situation of giving to this and nothing's coming out of it. 
but I feel like you don't see this reward coming. You're just feeling, I feel stuck in your mind, feeling bored. What's the six of coins? There is some type of agreement here. You've got the king of swords. It could be a business proposition with the king of swords and the world. So this could be someone that lives at a distance. This could be a diff someone that's a different nationality. There's, as I said, some type of agreement that will be happening. You're giving to something. Tell us more about the world, spirits. What is the world? You could be reaching someone that, to working with someone that's in a different country, that lives at a distance, and the Seven of Wands. So it's something you're fighting for. It could be your business. You've got like misfortune and hurt on the back of the deck. Could be choosing a new something new you're choosing so whether this is a person um an opportunity something you've been fighting for with the king of swords air gemini libra aquarius could be significant but someone that's making the logical decision to close out a cycle and be to giving to something else and you've got the four of wands now coming out here aries so 11 11 you are on the right track whatever you're doing whatever you're choosing in this current energy here, some type of agreement is what you're supposed to be doing right now, okay? This is going to lead you over the finish line, some type of completion. What's the four of wands? The five of wands. Keep fighting for you, okay? There's going to be success. What's the four of wands? And the king of pentacles. Yeah, there's something about, there could be a new opportunity, something about coming together with someone on a new opportunity, fighting for this opportunity, but it's going to bring in a lot of rewards, okay? It could be money that's coming in for you. You got the Ace of Pentacles. This new opportunity is the way to go. It's in the center of your reading here. It's going to leave you very fulfilled, um, Someone that could be, as I said, receiving a lot of money. What is the sun for Aries? So the sun, Leo energy, there are two people here celebrating or cheering, happy, happiness. You got the ten of cups. Okay, so this new opportunity, whether it's love or it is you know, an actual opportunity with work or something is going to leave you feeling comfortable, feeling fulfilled, not having to work too hard. You could have been juggling whether you want to take this or not, but I don't feel like you're not juggling anymore. You're choosing it, okay, and you're winning. I feel like it's going to be a lot of work, but I feel like there's a lot of success that comes out of this. And you could be working together with a Leo, but there's a divine connection coming together of people working on something that's going to be very, very fulfilling. And you've also got the six of wands coming out here. So victory and success is really coming out. The moon. What is the six of wands? So getting out of your emotions, focusing on the path ahead, focusing on something passionate about is going to bring in this reward. And the fool. Yeah, you're taking a new leap. There's people cheering you on while you take this new leap, while you take this new road. It's going to lead to success. What is the fool? You're leaving something in the past. There's something new that's coming that's going to bring in 
a lot of clarity. Someone's coming in, bringing in a lot of clarity and truth to a situation that's going to help move you into a new direction. And it's going to bring in a lot more happiness. You see this in the future energy here for you, Aries. There's a lot of goodness. And then you've got the Fool coming out again. So for the Fool, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. You've got that beginning, that new beginning, something that's solid. So whether this is a new beginning in a job or a relationship, a friendship, there's someone that's following their intuition, knowing that divine has their back. They're going to give to this. They're going to come together and work on this with this energy. And you've got the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this has come... This is that new town that's coming. I feel like this is something you shouldn't miss. You should just go with the flow of life right now. I feel Aries. I feel like this could be a lot of work too, but this is going to be leading you to a lot of success. This is different. This is, there's something new happening. in your energy and take that opportunity when it comes in Aries don't miss it go with the flow of life so you have the tower and the six of swords coming out now for your last two cards on the back of the deck for what you don't see what is the tower the lovers so there's something unexpected you have no control over. Your energy, Aries, with the tower. Making the decision to close a cycle out, close something out that was built on unsteady foundation. Breaking away, having the epiphany. Good luck is going to come. Okay, I feel like you're making the right decision to move forwards and away from this. This was something that was unstable. There is good fortune coming. I feel like there is a lover that's coming. Gemini energy. What's the Six of Swords? There's a new journey, a new world that you're not expecting at all. But there will be clear signs coming towards you. You've got the Nine of Cups. It's going to lead to a lot of happiness. You've got Strength. And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's someone that's going to come towards you with this new beginning. Wanting to start this new beginning. Something that's going to bring in a lot. Okay. I feel like this is going to be very abundant. But I feel like you do need to leave that situation. There's something new coming in. And I feel like while... Sorry, while you're on this new journey moving into the calm, you will be receiving a lot of messages about this new beginning. It's about to start. Aries, now let's grab you out a music message. One card for Aries. Are you mine? Arctic monkeys. So listen to that song. It will have messages. Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there's a playlist for Aries. I'm also doing personal readings. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.